Aladdin Creations. Urine casts are cylindrical, cigar-shaped structures produced by the kidney and present in the urine in certain disease conditions. All casts are composed of a mucoprotein, known as TAM horseful protein, which is secreted by the distal loop of henil. Therefore urinary casts are formed only, in the distal convoluted tubule, or the collecting duct. Casts are the result of solidification of protein in the lumen of the kidney tubules. Once formed, these casts of the tubule are eliminated via the urine, and may be seen in the urine sediment. They may contain RBCs, WBCs, renal epithelial cells, fat globules, bacteria, and degenerated forms of any of these structures. Urinary casts can be divided into two main categories, acellular casts and cellular casts. Acellular casts are higher line casts, granular casts, waxy casts, and fatty casts. Cellular casts are red blood cell casts, white blood cell casts, bacterial casts, and epithelial cell casts. Hyaline casts. Hyaline casts are the most common type of casts, which are composed of solidified TAM horseful mucoprotein. They have smooth texture, and a refractive index very close to that of the surrounding fluid. Generally, Hyaline casts have parallel sides with clear margins and blunted ends. Hyaline casts can be seen even in healthy patients. But they may be seen in increased numbers during dehydration, during fever, exercise, or diuretic medicines. Granular casts Granular casts result either from the degeneration of cellular casts, or direct aggregation of plasma proteins, or immunoglobulin light chains. They have a textured appearance, which ranges from fine to coarse in character. Their appearance is generally, more cigar-shaped and of a higher refractive index, than hyaline casts. They are seen after sternus exercise, chronic renal diseases, acute tubular necrosis etc. Waxy casts Waxy casts appear as cylinders of smooth. They are more refractile and therefore easier to see compared to hyaline casts. Waxy casts represent, the final stage of degeneration, of cellular casts. They are usually seen in, severe chronic renal disease, renal amyloidosis, and acute and chronic renal allograft rejection. Unusually broad waxy casts are known as renal failure casts. Fatty casts Fatty casts are formed by the breakdown of lipid-rich epithelial cells. These contain lipid droplets, within the protein matrix of the cast and are identified, by the presence of refractal lipid droplets. They are usually seen in the conditions, like tubular degeneration, nephrotic syndrome, hypothyroidism, frequently associated with heavy proteinuria. Red blood cell casts Red blood cells may stick together and form red blood cell casts. Such casts are indicative of glomerulonephritis, with leakage of RBCs from glomeruli, or severe tubular damage. RBC casts have been described along with hematuria in healthy individuals after exercise. White blood cell casts White blood cells are present within, or upon casts. These casts are typical for acute pyelonephritis, but they may also be present with glomerulonephritis, acute interstitial nephritis, lupus nephritis, and acute papillary necrosis. Renal tubular epithelial cell casts These casts are composed of renal epithelial cells. Seen in conditions such as, renal tubular necrosis, viral disease, and kidney transplant rejection. Hemoglobin cast appear yellow to red or even pale color. Usually seen with RBC casts and glomerular diseases. Rarely seen with tubular bleeding and hemoglobinuria. For more videos please subscribe my channel.
And if you like design this like video for you contact me. Also you can be my pattern and help me more creations.